Hi everyone, I'm Jess, um, and we are going to do an unboxing video of all the hobby yarn I got for my partnership campaign thing with them. Um, and then I'm going to tell you my plans for all of them, and then I'm going to make them and show you the end results for all three of these projects. So I'm really excited about it. Also, this is all my genuine reaction to the yarn. They're not paying me. Um, and my only requirements are to post on Instagram. So I'm gonna give you my like honest reaction to all the yarns, um, but let's get into it. I'm really excited. All right, I already opened them and looked at them because I was too excited. Um, but for this one, this is the um, Halloween campaign that they're doing. This is for all of their limited edition Halloween um, yarns. I was just obsessed with this look and you know I'm doing the spiderweb dress with this. Um, I got two. I wasn't sure how much I would need, but I think that two will honestly be too much. So my plan for this was to have like orange in the middle of the spider web and then purple in the like outer of the spider web and then it like fades into the black for the arms and like same thing going down to the skirt section. And I think I'm going to make it like a mini um, spider web dress instead of a like full long one but I think that I'm gonna have to manipulate the yarn a little bit and like cut it in certain sections and then add on in other sections to make it exactly where I want it to be. And it's good that I got two actually, cause I'll have one for the front and then one for the back of the spider web. So that's my plan with this. This is the Twisted Love yarn. I can't turn my wrist like that. The Twisted Love yarn. Wow, it's so pretty. Oh, I love that. I'm just seeing like these little like shiny sections in it. They almost look like when you, like a hair wrap or something. It's so pretty. So I'm thinking of making the same dress um, I made for my recent show. Um, it was like the black lacy one. Right now with that dress, I only have like the, it's like a strapless version or like a, a sleeveless version of it but I still wanna add sleeves. So I think I'm gonna add the sleeves to the black dress first, and then I'm gonna make a pattern for it and make the pattern video with these yarns. I just really hope it's enough because I only got four of them and I honestly don't think that it'll be enough. But they are beautiful, look at those colors. It's a good like end of summer. Maybe I'll just make like a shawl or something. I don't know, we'll see. All right, now for this last one. I think I'm the most excited about this one. It is just beautiful, chunky, colorful. Oh my God, I could cry. Okay, so, oh my God, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna pull it out and show you. So here's this one. I got so many colors. So this is Tea Time XL. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Like, look at that green in there. Oh my God, it's so pretty. This is color 10. And it's the first lot. That's crazy. I'm so excited for this. Okay, so this is just one of them. I'm gonna show you all of them before I um, tell you the plan for it. There's another one. Beautiful. Oh, and it's so soft too. I think it's acrylic. I don't love acrylic. Yeah, but it really is soft. <laughs> um, this is color four. Beautiful, so beautiful, wow. Oh. oh my gosh. Like just staring there for a while and. Don't you feel like you're just melting? Sorry, jump scare. This is color 14. Obsessed. Love it. I'm fast. It matches my dress a little. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Okay, this one is color three. Then we have these two. I got two of them because I think these are my favorite, but honestly, after seeing this one, I can't decide. Like, which... I think it's just a different... They're similar in, like, the amount of color and, like, excitement they give me, but I think the 
like electric royal blue and like the yellow and this coral I love but the like hot pink with the earthy tones in this mm. oh I don't know I can't decide my favorite ah. but anyways I got these and on the website it shows you like a swatch of what it would look like knitted um so different than crochet but that's the fun part of this is I'm gonna use my centro machine to make a sweater with this hopefully this is enough I'm really bad with yardage and like knowing the amount of what I need for each project so I kind of just guess which is scary um but so I want to make a sweater with these two and then with these I want to make shorts maybe pants if I'm feeling like it but I kind of I want shorts and I'm gonna like make blocked shorts so it'll be like the front half on this side will be one and then the front half on this side will be another and then back and back panel so it's gonna be like four different panels of these four yarns so I'm really excited for that um, so I'm gonna try to do it with my centro knitting machine um, I have completely failed every time I've used it except for one but I think I'll crochet like I'll add some crochet like ribbed wrists and like the neck of the sweater and then like the waistband I think I'll do some crocheted like ribbed things so yeah this is all the yarn let's see if I can hold it all okay so here's all the yarn um gonna be three really awesome projects and I am going to start the first one right now we lost two. Oh, that felt good okay so I don't know what to start first I think I'll do an Instagram poll because I love Instagram polls they're so fun um, and then we'll get started and I'll show you the process of making all of them there's a pattern out already for my spiderweb dress and let's get into it All right, so it's two days later. I put a poll on my story and 60% of people that voted, which was like 250 people, wanted me to start with the Halloween Twister um, yarn. And I'm not telling you on my story, but I did start with that. And I freaking love it. I'm like really, really obsessed with the gradient. And I had, I did have to like manipulate the yarn to make it um, grade, grade when I wanted it to, to, to make it change colors when I wanted it to. Um, but I'm pausing here um, because there's like an order that I have to do, that I have to post about each yarn. Um, and Twisted Love is the first one that I have to post about, which is today. So I just put another poll on my story about, um, about what I should make with this yarn. Um, I mentioned before that I wanted to make, creaky door, that I wanted to make a, um, another one of those black dresses that I made, but I haven't even posted about it yet, and I didn't get good footage of it, and I don't really love it, and I don't think I have enough yarn, so, like, it's just not feeling right, and it also takes a really long time, and I'm just not in the mood, and this yarn is really small, it's way smaller than I expected, it's actually thinner than my the normal yarn that I use. So I put a poll in my story asking if I should make my mermaid top um, pattern, my bell sleeve cardigan pattern, um, my zigzag pattern, and if I do zigzag I'd alternate this with like a white yarn. And then the last one was a siren set. So we'll see what the people say. But um, I did want to mention that for my spider web pattern a lot of people have been asking or have been in the reviews they're like great pattern just wish there was some alternate um necklines so i'm trying something with this one that i might if it goes well i might just add like an extension to the pattern or i might just add it on and like add it a separate video but i'm trying to make like a v-neck look so this is how it's looking it's making it all makes sense like the math of it um, and I think it'll look good because you can wear it in the front or in the back and have like a low back, which will be cool. 
So anyways, that's what I'm doing with the Halloween twister yarn from Hobby. And now I'm waiting to hear from the people, from the masses, what I should do with this yarn. I don't really know what I'm leaning towards. I don't think I feel like doing another siren set. I've already done three skirts and two tops, so I kind of feel like I want to revisit an older pattern um, and bring some light to those because I'm not really good at posting about older patterns. I'm kind of feeling like a cardigan, like the bell sleeve cardigan because it's kind of like late summer vibes and I feel like this is a good late summer palette. And I feel like I'd wear that. I don't think I'd wear another siren set. Anyways, I'll show you what I do today. All right, so I've been working on this little swatch. Um, I was thinking about doing the bell sleeve cardigan, but like lacy instead. So like the same shape, but a different pattern for it. But I also just thought about doing a spiral sweater. And I think that I would wear that more because I've been needing like a light sweater that I could just like throw on over um, like t-shirt or tank top or something like when it's warm, but it can still get cold, you know? So like a, a light sweater. And I think that it would be really cute with this. And then I'm just debating if I want to do the other color as like the off white or as the full white. And I'm not sure that's what it looks like on that. And then mm, I think it's going to pop better with the white. Oh, but I kind of wanted to use this. I've never really used this yarn before. Maybe because I don't like it and that's okay. Yeah, honestly, it's the white. It's gotta be. It's got to be. Okay, so I'm gonna start that. The question is, do I want to make it a square spiral or a circular spiral? Okay. All right, I decided to make a square spiral summer sweater. Um... I need to start over though because I want it to be a little more floppy and I'm, the hook I'm using is too small. Um, but this is how it's looking. I love the freaking sparkles in it. It's so pretty. Um, and I do like it with the, the white yarn. Um, I think it'll make the Twisted Love colors pop more. Um, and yeah, I decided I am going to make a free pattern on YouTube for this. So probably by the time you're watching this video, that will be out. So if you want to learn how to make this um, little square, what it will be in a bit, <laughs> if you want to learn how to make this sweater, um, you can check that video out. I will link it below in the description. Okay, hi. Um, so it's 1 a.m. <laughs> I got out of bed around like 11.30 because I had like an epiphany. Um, of how to finally do this. I've been working on it all day and I finally figured out like the right amount of whatever stitches. I don't even know. I can't talk right now. But now I can't go to bed until I get to the pink because I just want to see how it is and I'm so close. But I need to go to bed. Oh, I'm not even that close, am I? Whatever, I'm going to do it just a little bit more. <laughs> Just a little bit more, and then it's like 4 a.m. I made it to the pink, just a tiny bit. And now it's time for bed. Bye. Good morning. So I woke up really early because I really want to work on this and I have a lot of things to do today, but can you imagine it as a shirt? I mean, as a sweater. I guess it'll be a shirt. It's so, it's like very thin, but I'm thinking of it as like, a light sweater, you know? The pink that's coming in is so pretty. I love pink and orange together. I don't use a lot of pink, but this is a really nice one. It's not like too pink, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna keep going. I've got lots to do today. <laughs> So 
it's been a second since I updated you all. Um, it is officially fall in my book. I think, at least this morning when we went on a walk, it was 56 degrees. So I'm calling that fall and I'm seeing leaves on the ground and I have to close all the windows in my sunroom because it's a three season sunroom. And it was chilly. It freaking chilly in here. Anyways, this is where I am. I finished one square. I freaking love it. It's beautiful. I'm working on the second square. I'm hoping to finish this this morning and then get to the sleeves. Um, and yeah, they look really good. Let's see if I can hold them both. Hopefully I can finish this in like an hour. That might be pushing it, but I'm gonna tie myself and see. Got my sweater, got my tea. Mm. That needs to be hotter, but it's okay. And I'll get crack a whackin'. Honestly, if I go really hard, I could probably finish this today. I think it's like 9.30. Let's see. Let's see if I can really do this. If I say I can finish this in an hour if I grind, and then the sleeves and like sewing up the squares. Two hours each, maybe? It's not that much time, but this yarn is so thin, so I don't know. Anyways, also a reminder that I am making a um, tutorial video for this. So by the time you see this video, that video will already be out. So if you're like, gosh dang, I really like the look of that and I want one, go make it. And I, I'm gonna tell you how. So I put a timer on, um, not a timer, well I, I went to put the stopwatch on to see how long I could, how long it would take to finish this, and apparently I put my timer on for 44 minutes because that's my dryer timer, um, and it startled me. But we're gonna go back to the, uh, time lapse and keep going. I think I've only done like two rounds, and that was 44 minutes, so maybe less than two. I think it takes about like 25 each. Um, but we're gonna keep going, let's do it. have two more rounds left. Um, I took a break to make a smoothie and some breakfast. Oh my gosh, I love it. Anyways, <clears throat> back to work. All right, kids, I finished. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so good. Like a, a light, somewhat oversized sweater. I'll probably leave the neck a little bit open, like have that much neck. And then maybe start the sleeves like there. So they're like that, like that. I'm not sure, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go on a walk. Make my eyes see something but my fingers and colors. And then I will continue on with it. Okay, so this is how it's looking. Mm -mm -mm. It looks so weird and silly, like just, just like this with this striped shirt under. But I'm so excited, it's gonna be really cute. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I want the neckline to be, if I want it to be like up tight against my neck or if I want it to be looser. The good thing is I can always go back and change it later. So I think what I'll do is maybe just take out, it feels a little bit tight, like it was a, it was hard to get over my head. Um, so I think I'll take out like one or two stitches on each side. So it's like on the smaller side, 
of what I want. And then if I end up wanting it to be a larger neckline, then I can just take out stitches rather than needing to add them. Let's go. Next, I sew up the sides. <laughs> Here it is as a vest. I'm gonna try it on without the shirt under just to see what it looks like as a shirt. Kinda cute. I don't know if I, I mean, I guess with like a pair of white jeans or a white skirt. Oh wait, mm, I think I like it as a shirt. Why is it kind of cute though? Okay, now you're gonna see all the dirt on my floor. Don't look at it. Yeah, this can be a shirt. If you wanna just do two freaking squares and then sew it up on the freaking top and on the freaking sides, that's a freaking shirt. Go off, do your thing, have fun, and make art. Anyways, now it's time to add the sleeves. Eek. Well, good morning. We've got a sleeve working up. I didn't do. I did a lot in the morning yesterday, but in the afternoon I didn't do too much. All right, it's looking pretty good so far. It's gonna be a big, chunky sleeve, but that is what I wanted. I hope we'll find out. I like how it's looking, and I'm just gonna grind today and hopefully um finish at least one sleeve um i know myself and i like i give myself expectations that just are never met and then it's a bummer so i need to start small and then i'm more likely to meet my goals if they're smaller so one sleeve today period and then if i finish maybe i'll start the other one but one sleeve today all right, bye. All right, I wanted to take a break and see where, how long the sleeve is at. Wait, that's surprising. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's a sweater. Can you see it? Can you imagine what it'll look like? I think I want it there. Like I want it to cover my hands, you know? Like I don't really, I want my thumb to just be popping out so I can, so I can do that kind of thing and like. Good morning. Um, so I didn't get too much further from the last time I showed you guys. Um, I had a show last night, so I had to stop and sing. It was lots of fun, but uh, remember yesterday when I was like, I think I can get two sleeves done. Then I was like, no, I'm only going to tell myself that I'm going to get one today because then I'll actually get it done. I didn't even get one. I'm just so slow, and that's okay because that's what this like art is about. It's the slowness, and it's about the process and taking your time with it. Um, but I want to finish it today. So obviously I'll definitely finish this today. And I'm really hoping that I at least get most of this sleeve done. Because I don't think I have anything today. I might go apple picking now. And this would be so cute to apple pick in. Okay, that could be my goal. Okay. Let's do it. So I just went for a walk and it's super hot out and the sunroom is just like really, really warm. So I'm going to move into the other side of our house where it's cooler because it's less sunny and work there. I didn't get too far this morning, but we'll see where I get. Bye. Do you think that's a good one? Or should it be longer? Two longer. Two more rows? Yeah. Guys, <laughs> I just realized I think this is the first sweater I've ever made. Um, 
and I freaking love it. Look how cute this is. That's a sleeve. That's a freaking sleeve right there. And I think it's like, it's just the perfect width. I love the length. So now we do the other arm. This took me two days. It was over three days, but the first day I didn't really, I think I did like maybe four rows. Yesterday, I probably worked for, mm, I don't know. It's hard because I feel like I work and then I stop working and like so on and off. But today I started at like 10 and then I went on like an hour and a half walk and then I worked again and I, look at that, look And now it's four. So, math. So from like, like here to here was like four and a half hours, which kind of feels wrong. I'm sure I was stopping and not really working, but I'm just slow too. I'm not a, I'm not a fast crocheter and that's fine because the outcome is always worth it. But I really wanted to wear this to apple picking tonight, but I'm not gonna, so it's okay. But I'm going to start the other one and hopefully I finish it tomorrow. I'm so happy. Oh, can't you just like, you can already tell. You can tell how cute it's gonna be. Okay, <laughs> let's start the second half. Good morning. If it looks like I just rolled out of bed, it's because I did. Um, this is how far I got last night, about 10 rows. Um, I didn't really do much. I ended up going on a walk. It was lovely. And then we watched Spirited Away. And that was lovely and fun and silly and also kind of scary and stressful, but it ended sweet. Um, but I'm going to try to finish this today. I am going, I like, I did 10 rows last night, so I did a fifth last night. And then I'm just going to try to go in like 10 row increments. And then slowly get it done. I think it'll take about like an hour and a half each for 10 rows, I think, because I timed um, a few rows and my shortest one was five minutes longest one I think was like 11 or something but the average was eight so I'm going to try to do eight minute rows I'm going to listen to the songs that I need to learn for my shows coming up because when I listen to stuff and don't have something to look at I work faster but when I'm looking I'm like going up and down getting distracted so hopefully I get this done really quick today I'll update soon finished it it's still the same day of I mean I don't know what day but what what was the last thing I said I don't even know oh that's gonna be a fucking good sunset um anyways so I the last time I talked to you I don't know where I was at but I went on a walk to the waterfront and I crocheted down there for a little bit I took some videos so you probably just saw that um and I just finished it. I sewed in my ends, which I never freaking do. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. So this is my first time trying it on. And I can't believe I weaved in my ends. This is crazy. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't double check the amount of stitches. I was like counting down. It looks right of the sleeves. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, what? Oh, it was my hair. I thought there was another end that I needed to weave in. And I was like, why would there be one there? Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. Oh, yes. We we're supposed to go apple picking today, but we keep forgetting to check when the orchard near us is open. And yesterday was closed all day. Today it closed at five. My boyfriend gets out of work at six, so these earrings match really well too. But I think we're gonna go apple picking this weekend and I think I'm gonna wear this and take a cute little video in it. 
and yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. Sorry about that. I would give this a 10 out of 10 uh, sunsets because it kind of reminds me of sunsets. No, it's because I'm looking at one. Let's see if I can shake. Oh, there. So pretty. Okay, we should go outside and look at it. So this was a success, I would say. Um, if you want to make this sweater, I have made a tutorial video for you. It is already up, so you can go check that out and make your own. It's made to measure, so you can um, use any yarn, any hook, make it any size. And I talk about how you can do a turtleneck, how you can make the sleeves like bell sleeves, how you can turn it into a dress even. Um, lots of ways to play around with this. And yeah, so go check that out if you wanna see it. But up next, we are going to be... Hi. <laughs> We're gonna be working on the tea time yarn. And I'm so excited for this. So I did an Instagram poll and I asked if I should relearn how to knit to make a sweater with these and the poll was knit it or use a centro to make it quicker and in my heart let's see in my brain I was hoping that the centro would win because time you know it goes so much quicker with the centro but in my heart I was hoping that knitting would win and it did so I'm going to relearn how to knit, but I need to go get um, the circle needles. I don't remember what they're called, cable needles? I think I made that up. I mentioned my plan already, but I kind of changed it up. So I still want to make the sweater out of this one. Um, it's probably going to take me 10 years, but I am ready to do it and I'm feeling motivated. So I'm going to do it. And then my initial idea, which I already told you about, was to do shorts, but I'm thinking about maybe making a skirt because I kind of want a like fall skirt and I think I'd line it with fabric. Um, but what I'm thinking is like four like granny squares, but like pretty granny squares, like not granny squares, like <laughs> squares, but it's like lace and pretty intricate patterns. And it would be crochet by the way. Um, so it would be like one here, one here, one there, one there, um, similar to how the shorts were gonna be, but then I'd add on and make it maxi, probably like three or four rows, um, like rows of squares. Gosh, my brain. I've been I've been staring at this all day, so I'm, well, uh, my eyes are freaked up. Oh, I forgot about the sunset. I think I need to go outside for that. Anyways, so that's my other idea. So I'm debating between the two, but I'm gonna start the sweater first, see how knitting goes. If I'm like, hell yeah, I love knitting then I'll probably knit the shorts. And if I'm like, mm -mm, I hate this, then I'll probably do the skirt. And I might have enough for both. There's honestly a lot of yarn in these, so um, we shall see. <laughs> I was so excited. Here's the sweater, on to the next one.